Hello everybody, this is Cameron Snow with Denomics.com. So one of the things that I hear from our customers all the time is they love that we incorporate mapping into all of our workflows. So if you've watched any of our videos before, I'm sure you've seen how we do reservoir property mapping using the petrophysical properties that we calculate. This, in this video, what I want to show you is how we can incorporate those mapping workflows into our decline curve analysis as well. So as you know, uh, Denomics has a powerful decline curve analysis forecasting package where you can bring in your production and well header data and then automatically decline out all of your wells across a play. We make it easy for you to come in and QC and manually adjust your declines across large data sets. And we give you tools such as summary views and QC tables to come in and thoroughly analyze your interpretations. But sometimes you want to move beyond this and look at it spatially on a map. So how do you do that within Denomics? Well, what you do is you can come in and use our special flow tools that we have developed to allow you to map up properties in a number of ways uh, within the platform. So in this example, we're going to pull in our production data. We're going to apply the interpretations that we made in our decline curve analysis. We're going to bring in the well headers so that way we can add the location information for mapping it up. In this case, I'm going to apply some spatial filtering uh, to get rid of, of any outlier data. Then we'll simply make the grid. I'm going to apply some light smoothing and then we'll output the results. And then when I do that, I can come over to a mapping project and I can add some cultural data like county boundaries and townships, as well as our company's acreage. We can then put on things like our well header data. Now we're of course, of course going to want to see our uh, EUR results. So we're going to put those here on the map so we can see our EUR for oil, gas, and water in these bubble pie charts. And then we'll add the grid that we generated from our uh, flow that was based on our uh, decline curve interpretation. And in this case, I'm showing the uh, B factor from our declines, and we can see some interesting trends developing in this. And we may want to go ask, you know, what is it that's driving these trends? Is there something different about this area than what we're seeing down here? And these are the types of new insights that you can get when you start mapping up results instead of just looking at them in a well by well setting where you may not fully appreciate the spatial variances that you're getting. So if you want to have the ability to evaluate your production, not only like this, but in a rich map view, reach out to us at sales at